And when you raise the word entrepreneurship, uh, many people uh, talk about psychological traits. There was research uh, some years ago that said you have to have a domineering mother to be a, an entrepreneur. How many of you have a domineering? No, I really don't want to. <laughs> no. Yeah, my mother won't let me raise my hand at that question. <laughs> There's also the notion that entrepreneurs are risk seekers or risk bearers or something. And I really don't know anybody who gets up in the morning and says, where can I find risk? You know, it's sort of, where can I find reward? And on whom can I foist all of the risk? So at, uh, my colleagues and I like to think about entrepreneurship in the way uh, Edgar described it, frankly, which is a relentless pursuit of opportunity beyond the tangible resources currently controlled. And the basic idea is not to focus on what's there from the past, what you've accumulated and what you need to protect, but to always think about opportunity looking outwards and looking at what customers are doing and understanding how that process evolves. And indeed, success becomes your enemy and causes you to protect what you've done before. We have the view that in today's world, you actually can't protect the status quo. It simply is not possible. And we think of entrepreneurship not as a personality trait or as an economic function like innovation, but rather as a way of managing. And it's got some differences from being a bureaucrat or an administrator, and we'll try to describe some of how that operates. Uh, I'll also you tell you, I've now screwed up the picture, but um, it's act, listen, or so believe, listen, act. I was trying in real time, Edgar, to capture your definition, because I actually think it, it, it has a lot of wisdom embedded in it. Because entrepreneurship, at the end of the day, is not about thinking about problems, but it's about acting. And indeed, I'll try to make the argument that ideas are a dime a dozen, and execution is all that matters. I have seen so many people with the same idea, and I have seen a team like John Osher's team out-execute every time. 